Honda is a well-known name in the Indian scooter market thanks to their 110cc scooter, the Activa, which was highly successful. Sadly, Honda could not replicate the same success with the 125cc variant of the scooter. But now, they are back with a vengeance and they are back with a new product called the Grazia, a 125cc scooter with a lot of tricks up its sleeve. My name is Akash Paul and you are watching the Motown India show and today we are going to find out if the Honda Grazia can be the new Honda Activa of the 125cc segment. In terms of design, this is perhaps one of my favorite scooters in the country right now. And kudos to the designers at Honda for making this sharp and chisel looking scooter that has a very nice aerodynamic design. You can see that there are sharp lines running all throughout the scooter. The front gets a two-tone touch with this section being in a different material while this gets a very glossy touch. There is also a matte version in some colors. Also housed at the front is the first ever LED headlamp on a scooter and it looks absolutely fantastic. Then on top of that you have these swept back turn indicators which really accentuate the aerodynamic nature of the scooter. Moving on to the side you get Honda decals on the footboard and you have the Grazia naming right here. This ends in a very stylish looking split grab rail under which is your big tail lamp along with its turn indicators and it looks really nice. You also have this separate finish on some parts such as the back of the rear view mirrors as well as on the side of the scooter which add a nice dynamic to the whole design scheme. You also get these cavities which look like air intakes which is a nice touch as well. The 155mm of ground clearance might not be the best but it still suffices for city usage and I did not have any instance where a speed breaker hit the underbody of the scooter. So it's good enough. I found my ride on the Grazia quite comfortable as the footboard is pretty long. It's long enough for a six foot tall person and you can easily put in your legs without feeling the need of having more room. The seat as well is long enough for two people to sit comfortably and the cushioning is very good as well. The handlebar is within reach for almost everyone and the switch gear is also very accessible and has a nice finish to it. There are no rickety parts which is always a good thing. You also get a nice storage unit right here where you can put in your smartphone and if you want you can also have an accessory wherein you can fit a charger over there so you can charge your mobile whilst also placing it in a very convenient space. The right gets the key lock which is very functional because it has a button which on pressing will release the seat so you don't have to pop out your key and put it somewhere in here to unlock the seat. So plus points to Honda for that. On opening the seat you will find 18 litres of storage space which is enough for keeping a lot of things but not a big helmet. Mine did not fit, yours might if it's slightly smaller. But this is still enough to keep some books, a tab or a laptop, a small laptop maybe. So quite a functional storage space. And if you want more space to keep stuff then there is also a bag hook right here. The instrument cluster on the Honda Grazia is unique to the scooter and is an all digital one. So you get a lot of information on this instrument cluster. It's one of the most handy ones out there in the scooter segment right now. You get your speed, you get your fuel level, you get your total distance. You also get a trip meter on this. It shows you your time and it even has an RPM gauge. Apart from this, you also have what Honda calls a three-step economy meter. So if you're driving in a very fuel efficient manner, these lights will glow depending on how fuel efficient your riding style is. 
My only problem with this instrument cluster is that it has been positioned slightly low for my height and I had to look down in order to properly read what's on the instrument cluster. Powering the new Honda Grazia is a 125cc engine which was also seen on the Activa 125 and it's a very refined motor and puts out similar numbers so you get about 8 horsepower at 6500 rpm and 10 Newton meters of torque at 5000 rpm. What these numbers translate into is a very satisfying and smooth city performance. You get a very nice low end so you can easily dive into and come out of dense traffic and overtaking in the city as well is very awesome. Although I would not say that this is the best highway companion. The company claims that it has a top speed of 85 km per hour but if you're thin like me you can go a little beyond that. The scooter finds itself comfortable when you're cruising in between speeds of 50 to 70 km per hour. If you go beyond that then you will feel the scooter getting out of breath slightly. Now coming to a big point of concern for a lot of customers, the mileage. You can expect something close to 50 km to a litre in city usage. But that when combined with a rather small 5.3 litre fuel tank can prove to be somewhat bothersome to people who go for long journeys. So you will have to stop often and refuel. But otherwise the fuel efficiency is pretty standard for a 125cc scooter. The braking setup on the new Grazia includes a 190mm disc brake up front which is optional so you can either get a 190mm disc or a 130mm drum brake. At the rear you have another 130mm drum brake. You also get Honda's combi brake system on this for added convenience and you also have a parking brake right here. But operating it can be finicky sometimes. As you can see we have the variant with the disc brake up front and it does make a difference in the braking performance. I felt really confident while pulling the brakes but I would have enjoyed a little more bite in the rear brakes. You get a 90 by 90 12 inch tire at the front and it's a tubeless tire and at the rear you have a 90 by 100 10 inch tire. These tires are pretty standard for a scooter of this caliber and they do a pretty good job of sticking to the tarmac. I took some really sharp corners at high speeds on this scooter and it maintained its line. Suspension duties are handled by a telescopic fork up front and a monoshock at the back and it is a pretty stiff setup so if you're going over big bumps or speed breakers then you will feel them but the smaller undulations it gobbles up. So we've come to the end of our review and it's time to answer that question. Can the new Honda Grazia become the new Activa for Honda? Well I definitely think that that can be a possibility because it has all the right features and the right pricing. It starts at 57,897 rupees ex showroom Delhi that's the base variant and there are two variants above that as well. So I think the pricing is spot on and it's also got a lot of segment first features as well as good looks and sturdy performance. And it's definitely going to make the competition sweat in the 125cc scooter segment.